Hey guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. In this video, I want to show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, after the finished video, I will share all project files for download. First one, let's create new background layer. Right mouse, new and solid layer. Add the name background and go to color. Let's select this white color and click OK and click again OK. So lock layer, go to shape layers, hold this icon and select this random rectangle tool. Then hold shift, make one rectangle tool click session tool and open rectangle one open here rectangle pet one and let's try change size like this and change redness for circle layer okay and let's select this palm behind move anchor point down click session tool let's close settings Go to pen tool and let's make one line. Click session tool. Go to fill. Let's select this none and go to stroke width. Change stroke width like this. Let's change six and open stroke color. Let's select this black. Click OK. OK, let's change name line and let's Move it down, then go to here, hold this icon, select title, action, save. And let's move it down, this... Okay, not bad. Select the shape layer and change the name, card. Okay. So, let's move it down, like this. And in this time, let's make animation keyframes. Select this card and press P. Make new passing keyframe. And go to 10 keyframe. For shortcut, you can use hold shift press page down in the keyboard or click here, right here, plus 10. Click OK for go to 10 keyframe. Okay, so in this time, let's move up. Okay, go to 10 keyframe again. Say first keyframe, control C, control V. Say keyframes, make easy or click F9 and go to graph editor with this icon. And let's make graph for ball animation. Select this shape frame and let's move to left and this move to right. Let's see. Okay. So back to shape frames and select these three shape frames, Ctrl C and go to last shape frame, Ctrl V for paste. Let's see. Okay. So in this time, go to here and let's select this last three keyframes, Ctrl C, go to last keyframe, Ctrl V, okay, let's see, nice. So in this time, select this card and hold Shift press S, click this icon and in this time, let's make sketch keyframe and go to fifth shape frames change scale like this and like this okay let's move to left and change scale 100 and this 100 slay shape frames make easy let's see okay nice Again, select the sketch keyframes, Ctrl C and go to here. And let's Ctrl V. Let's move to left. Okay, nice. So in this time, let's open inside card layer and open contents, rectangle one and rectangle pet one. And let's do timing. Okay, in this time, let's make size shape frame and roughness shape frame. Go to here and let's click this icon, change size like this, 
and change redness let's see okay let's see animation okay not bad so say three frames make easy and in this time select this card and hold shift press air and make rotation keyframe chain rotation like this let's move to right and change rotation here zero okay and go to here change 10 and go to here change minus 5 and go to here change 0 Select rotation keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay. Select all keyframes, hold Alt, move to right. And move to left is rotation keyframes. Okay, nice. So, select this card and press U for C only keyframes. And select last passing keyframes. Okay, and let's move to up. Okay, go to 10 keyframe. Move to up like this. Go to again 10 keyframe. Move to down and again move to up. Again go 10 keyframe, move to down. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And select these rotation keyframes. Hold Alt, move to right. Okay, that's good. Not bad. So, in this time, let's make other elements for this bank card. Close shape frames. And don't forget to select this shape layer. And go to stroke, change stroke color to black. And change stroke width. Okay, nice. Okay, not bad. So, in this time, go to shape layers, hold this icon, select this rectangle tool, and let's make one element like this, glycation tool, and change row with zero, open fill color, and change color blue like this. Okay, let's select the shape layer and control D. Move to here, change scale, and move to right. Again, control D, move to up. Okay, not bad. So go to shape layers, hold this icon, select this ellipse tool, and hold shift, make one ellipse like this, glycation tool. And let's select these shape layers, change color to white. Okay, not bad. Select this circle, let's move to here. And for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pump behind icon. Glycation tool. Okay, not bad. So, select the shape layers. Let's link to cart layer. And let's change time duration layers. And in this time, select this shape layers. Let's change size like this. Okay. Change a little bit. Let's click this icon, change like this. Change this 200. Okay, not bad. And let's make scale keyframe. Move to right and change scale zero. Select keyframes, make easy. And go to graph editor, select this graph. Let's make smooth animation. Okay, back to keyframe. Select this last keyframe. Move to left for fast animation. Move to left again. Okay, back to keyframes and. Let's select this, move to left. Okay, not bad. 
So in this time, select the shape layers, press S, and this press S, click these icons, and go to here, make scale shape frames, and go to first second. Let's try change scale zero, and this zero, select shape frames, make easies, go to graph editor, and make smooth graph. Okay, nice. So back to shape frames and select the shape frames. Let's move to right. Let's control Z, select these shape frames, move to right. Nice. Let's press S and go to here. Change scale zero, make scale shape frame, go to 10 shape frame, change 120. Go to 10 shape frame, change 95. Again, go 10 shape frame, change 105. You can go 10 shape frame, change 100. So there's more shape frames for bones animation. Let's make shape frames easy. So let's see. Okay, let's move to right. Okay, so let's close these shape frame settings and select the shape layers. Let's see timing. Okay, let's move to left. Okay, not bad. Let's do full animation. Okay, that's good. So, for loop animation, let's select this card and press U. Make new passing shape frame. And let's go to here. Let's move right this shape frame. Go to here. Select work area. And let's move to up and go to here, move to down. Let's see. Okay, select shape frames, go to graph editor, and let's see. Select this graph and this. Okay, let's try this. Okay, not bad. Let's try for a better result. Okay, back to shape frames and select this last shape frame, move to left. Nice. So in this time, let's make redness shape frame and size shape frame. Go to here and let's select this first redness shape frame, Control C and Control V. Select first size shape frame, control C and control V. Let's see. Okay, nice. And let's hide these shape layers. Okay, and select this last passing shape frame, move to down. Okay, go to 3 J frame, 1, 2, 3. Let's move to up. Go to 3 J frame again, 1, 2, 3. Move to down. Let's see. Okay, we have problem with J frames. Let's select last 3 J frames, right mouse, J frame interpolation, change current settings to linear. Click OK. Nice. Okay, that's good. So, let's select these shape frames and move to the left. And select these last three shape frames, move to right. Okay, go to graph editor. And let's create better shape frames. And select these, let's move to right. Okay, back to shape frames and select last three shape frames again, move to the left. Okay, let's move to right this. Okay, not bad. So, let's press N for select work area. And in this time, let's enable other shape layers. And select these shape layers, press U for C shape frames. 
and in this time let's make again keyframes go to here and select first keyframes control c control v and this control c control v and this and this and select keyframes move to left nice so let's see full animation okay nice so thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel and please follow me on instagram good luck